When you guys made biscuits back then, you put baking powder in them, or yeah, make baking powder biscuit. If you made it with sweet milk, you put baking powder. And uh, if you made it with sour milk, you use soda and baking powder. Uh huh. Yeah. And then it bubble up with that sour milk and the yeah. baking soda. Yeah. One time when I was about, I guess I must have been about four or five years old, and mother had gone off to find the turkeys. The turkeys was out somewhere, and they didn't come home, and she was looking for turkeys. My grandmother come by our house, because we lived about as far from here up there from her, and I was up in a chair making biscuit. <laughs> she said, Gussie said, what are you doing? I said, I'm cooking supper like I always do. <laughs> she said, I had flour from head to foot. <laughs> and I had got in the churn. Mama had a churn fixed and it had cream all in it. And I had put cream in in the flour to make the biscuit. Instead and I didn't know you were supposed to have baking powder, so I didn't use anything else. And it was hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, yeah, I told her that I'm, I'm fixing supper like I always do. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she told Mama, she said, don't get mad at Gussie because she thinks she's helping you. And she said she's cooking supper like she always did. <laughs> <laughs> Had a big Thanksgiving yeah, dinner. Thanks. People come over and everything, and family. Yeah. You'd have a big family gathering or something. Well, my grandparents and my uncle and his wife and kids. Yeah. We'd all eat together. Did y'all have cranberry sauce back then or just something else? No, we had grape jelly. Grape jelly. Yeah. Homemade or store-bought? Yeah, homemade. Uh-huh. I didn't know what cranberry were. <laughs> grape jelly and grape juice. We didn't know what Coke or anything was, but we had grape juice all the time. Hmm. Was it sweet or you have to put sugar in it? Well, you had to put sugar in it. Yeah. Because we got plenty of wild grapes out there, but the birds won't even eat them. They're so sour. They just fall on the ground. We had lots of grapes. When we moved up to Belton, well, my grandmother used to come up in the fall. Those grapes would be hanging down off of the tree, you know. Yeah. She'd come up and get a whole bushel full of Hmm. grapes and take them home and she made grape juice out of it. Hmm. Did the Mexicans and the blacks eat anything different? Like did they make, eat cactus or anything like that or they just eat pretty much the same stuff you guys ate? We all ate the same stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> Does that down in Mexico, they'd eat them cactus leaves, you know, and stuff like that. I didn't know if they ate those in Texas or not. Well, when I ate over to the black woman's house, she'd always have cornbread and molasses. Yeah. That's, that's what we had. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody in the family drank, right? Liquor? So prohibition didn't affect y'all at all, right? I don't guess it wasn't. Nobody had any money. They didn't have any liquor. <laughs> No, uh, Grandpa, uh, because he had gout so bad, I remember he drank red liniment. Oh. We, we couldn't figure out how he could drink that red liniment. It was hot as fire. Doesn't sound good. He said it was good for his gout? Well, I guess it takes the place of liquor. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, it wasn't good for gout. It just took the pain away. Oh, okay. <laughs>
No telling what it had in it, huh? Huh? What did it have in it, do you know? What? That red liniment. Did it have cocaine in it or morphine or what? what? I don't know. He, no. he just drank it. He just buy bottles full of it. <laughs> he put water with it sometimes. What was the brand name? Did it have a brand or just red liniment? Red liniment. Huh. A lot of medical stuff, you know. Lonnie's always going to get me black drop. <laughs> black drop? Yeah. Oh, God. That was awful stuff. <laughs> in the fall, <clears throat> in the fall, they make you take black drop and castor oil. They said they have to clean you out, you know. Man, that's the nastiest stuff. <laughs> At Black Row, that was what, molasses with sulfur in it or something like that? No, it's a powder, and you put what, put it in water. Oh. Another thing Dad told me, he said, when you worked on the farm, before you go back to school, your feet would be looking like alligators. So it says, before you go back to school, sometimes you'd have to scrub your feet with corn cobs and ashes. <laughs> Just... <laughs> well, it's probably that rough. <laughs> he done well to keep his big toe unwrapped. He'd go barefooted, and he always stumped his big toe. <laughs> and Mama always had it wrapped up, you know. Yeah. You see Marsh coming. Here he is with his big toe wrapped up. <laughs> I got athlete's foot, and uh, I tried everything. I, I didn't try everything because I didn't have anything. But I thought, well, I'll fix that. It's bound to. So we had some Lysol that uh, they put on the clothes. Yeah. And I rubbed that stuff on my toes, and I blistered them. Ooh, I tell you, it took all the hide off. <laughs> but it cured the... It, it cured, cured it, huh? It cured athlete's foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>